Who are you going to call? The cops because it's criminal that it took me this long to watch Ghostbusters for the first time. Up, 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 up. Stop typing. I can already feel the judgment through the camera. I know what you're thinking. Did I live under a rock? Call me Patrick Star because yep. Seriously though, it's not that I lived under a rock. I just wasn't as into movies growing up. I was more into video games, going outside, but I was also just super busy with school and being a kid. Also, I kind of judged a book or rather in this case, a movie by the cover and it always kind of looked cheesy and dumb. But once again, I am here to reconcile my past crimes. I now love all things cheesy, funny, witty. And I feel like now I am at an age where I can really appreciate the alleged masterpiece that this movie is. Even though I have never seen this before, I am absolutely familiar with the theme song. The only other thing I know about this movie is that there's four dudes running around a city, occasionally turning on a vacuum to suck up some ghosts. So with that being said, I think now is the perfect time to finally check out this movie. Let's jump in. The New York Public Library. Lions and pigeons and old ladies. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure she's sweet. She looks lovely. I would kill to work in a bookstore or a library. Seriously though, such a chill job. Until the ghosts attack. The music is both soothing and uber creepy. Hell no, I'd be burning all those books. It's gonna be like Fahrenheit 451 up in here. Oh! <laughs> Only because there's ghosts for no other reason, okay? Oh my gosh. The amount of time it would have taken to sort all of that and then... Ah! I cannot cope. I'd be like, no, my alphabetical order. <laughs> The horror. If there's something strange in the neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, not Miranda. <laughs> All right. Paranormal studies. Square. Good guess, but wrong. Good guess, not even close, but mm hmm. Oh, <gasps> he's shocking him? What? Is that ethical? I don't know about that. Is it a star? She's not. It is a star. <gasps> Very good. No! Oh, that's not fair. Wrong. <laughs> that is so not fair. If it's a competition between who has the fluffier hair, though, like, he wins. What is it? Cheating. Figure eight. An infinity symbol? Incredible. What? They're just coming to me. <laughs> okay. I'd be asking for proof every time, like, no, no, no. Show your cards. Show your hand. 75 more to go. Okay? What's this one? I hope he's getting paid for this. A couple of wavy lines. Sorry. This isn't your lucky day. <laughs> Why? But it's not... I... Ah! I'm getting a little tired of this. <laughs> you volunteered, didn't you? No. First mistake. <laughs> Maybe my theory is correct. You can keep the five bucks I've had it. I will. So he is getting paid five doll hairs. I'm right in the middle of something. <laughs> what was with the jump and then the slap? I'm sorry. That was... That was something else to watch. That was so funny. And I'm going to steal that. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that. That's that's mine now. <laughs> you gotta add the you gotta add the little hop. <laughs> I need some caffeine now. No, Miranda, you certainly do not need caffeine. <laughs> Guys, zip it. I can feel it. We're very very close. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. With you some more. Perhaps you could come back this evening. Say it. Eight o'clock. To date. I was just gonna say. Eight o'clock? Wow. <laughs> you are a legitimate phenomenon. Oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> Ray, the sponge has migrated about a foot and a half. To 
big deal for SpongeBob. He left his pineapple. We don't even know what you have yet. I don't remember. A demon, a poltergeist. Frantic, mentally incompetent. My uncle thought he was Saint Jerome. Oh no, no. Are you, Alice, menstruating right now? What has that got to do with it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, blame it on that. I like this character. He's really funny. <laughs> Clearly the skeptic in the group. You gotta have one during your ghost adventures. You smell something? Isn't there a line in a movie that just, I just, it just popped in my head. Isn't there a line in a movie? I don't know what movie it is, but immediately when he said that, is there a smell in here? I was good. <laughs> I thought in my head, you, can you smell the, the menstruation? I have to look this up. No way. It is an actual quote from Anchorman. It's, they can smell the menstruation. so funny that those lines went so close together and then my brain instantly made this connection. I'm sorry. I'm full of references today. Get a sample of this. It's the real thing. Oh good, goo. I love textures. Here. I'm getting stronger readings here. Whoa. We just call that snot over here? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ew, don't you don't flick it. It's hair gel, just go. It'll keep it in place. Torso apparition, and it's real. Yeah, there's more than just a torso there. Could you come over here and talk to me for a second, please? Could you just come over here for a second, please? <laughs> Rejected. You ready? Ready? Get her! <gasps> Holy jeez! Okay, warn me, guys. I didn't think this was actually going to be scary. I thought these were supposed to be like happy, funny ghosts that like occasionally sneezed on you. What was that? You Ooh, what is that? That's what he was paying his volunteer people earlier. <laughs> you are a poor scientist, Doctor. And you're hitting on the volunteers. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. <laughs> Faith, call it luck, call it car. Why do I feel like he's about to start singing? Everybody has three mortgages nowadays. But at 19%, you didn't even buy- I don't. <laughs> Good luck getting a house now. Hey, does this pole still work? <laughs> oh, oh, I did not like the shake on that. You gotta try this pole. I'm gonna get my stuff. You gotta try this pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay here, tonight, sleep here, you know, to try it out. <laughs> this place isn't haunted? This could be their first experiment. I think we'll take it. <laughs> that gargoyle looks see-through. Is that? <gasps> No freaking way! We I haven't gotten a full face yet, but that looks like Sigourney Weaver. Oh, hi. It, it 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 is. Oh, instant bonus points. Oh hi, yes, Lewis, it's me. I thought it was a drugstore. Oh, are you sick? <laughs> wait, 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 Rick Moranis too? You're kidding me. Lewis, but I have to go to rehearsal now, excuse me. No sweat. I have to geek out. I love him so much. Between Spaceballs and what's the other one with the giant man eating plant? His name is Seymour. It's not coming to me yet. Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop. Little Shop of Horrors. I love him so much. I already love this movie. I'm having a big party for all my clients. It's my fourth anniversary as an accountant, you know. <laughs> Shouldn't do. I'd like you to stop by, being that you're my neighbor and all. Well, thank you, Lewis. I really. I love him so much. Has he breathed once? You know what I did? I turned up my TV real loud too, so everyone to think that both our TV. Bre Dude, breathe. I am. I'm forgetting to breathe. Listening I to have him. A shower. I gotta have a shower. You wanna join? Wait, what? Who said that? It was a ghost. We're ready to believe you.
Oh. <laughs> her apartment is so cute. The decor, though. Wowzer. The eggs are haunted? Normally they attach themselves to baby dolls, but eggs, sure. Are they frying on the counter? It's coming from inside the fridge. <laughs> Maybe new rings, also mufflers, a little wiring. I don't really speak car very well. My brain just short-circuited. Any customers? No, Dr. Venkman. <laughs> don't stare at me, you got the bug eyes. <laughs> Sorry about the bug eyes thing, I'll be in my office. Oh, please don't report me to HR. What? Very handy, I can tell. What? Too intellectual, but I think it's a fabulous way to spend your spare time. I think it's a fabulous way to spend your spare time. I love her. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. He's a fun guy. I'm sorry. Take me out with the trash. I don't need to be here anymore. I love this movie, and I think it brings out all the jokes, all the humor in me. Yes. You don't see that kind of behavior in a major appliance. What do you think it was? Maybe it was hungry. Megan, what do you think? She's telling the truth. At least she thinks she is. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's the truth. Clairvoyance or telepathic contact either. I don't believe in any of those things. But they're speaking my language. I find all that stuff fascinating. The usual literature. Spade's catalog. Tobin's spirit guide. Yeah. Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. Check her out. I'll go check out Miss Barrett's apartment. Nice save, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love this. I love this movie. I love this movie. Ah. A lot of space. What the heck is that? That's the bedroom, but nothing ever happened in there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You're more like a game show host. Spot on, actually. That's the kitchen, huh? I'm shipping them by the end of the movie. They're going to be an item. Oh, my God. That's like what he was doing on the piano. The... I don't think you're crazy. Oh, boy, that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Perrier! Perrier! Perrier, like from Spaceballs, when, oh my gosh, when Mel Brooks was drinking it, and <laughs> I thought it spelled out derriere. <laughs> he was sniffing a can of derriere. Oh my gosh, everything is connected, and I love all of the references that I can pull from other movies, and I love this movie so much already. I am madly in love with you. What? That's fast. Please leave. That's fat. Yeah, that's fast. She thought I was a geek and she probably wasn't the first. You are so odd. To be honest, I thought that was kind of cute and witty. You're going to be thinking about me after I'm gone. I bet I am. <laughs> no kiss. <sighs> oh. Oh no, he locked himself out. <laughs> To our first and only customer. Oh, now I want Chinese food. Thank you. We got one! <laughs> That's the most animated we've seen her <laughs> so far. The music in this movie is really good. Yeah, the soundtrack is phenomenal. Those books were made in the whole Ecto-1. Oh, <laughs> yeah, real discreet, guys. Uh, thank you for coming so quickly. <laughs> That's gotta be some cockroach. Bite your head off, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I've never had a paranormal experience before, but I love hearing stories. I find them so fascinating. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, we can do more damage that way. Oh, I think he did enough. Ooh. Oh, no. It, oh, we got a floating green booger. This is going to be disgusting, isn't it? You missed. We got something. <laughs> oh, he's real. Darn. It's looking at me. He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? Yeah. You. <laughs> That's an aggressive booger. Batman, what happened? Are you okay? He slimed me. <laughs> you got slimed. That's great, Ray. Save some for me. Ew. Went into a ballroom. Okay, we'll be right there. So now it's left the 12th floor. I did that. I did that. That's my fault. It's okay. The table broke the fall. <laughs> Again, so much for going quietly. Exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. If they cross streams, what kind of streams are we talking? The the rays? That's what I'm assuming. Oh, 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 oh. nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> we gotta get <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the capacity of that little box? Just wondering. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. <laughs> $5,000? I had no idea to be so much. I won't pay it. Oh. Well, we can just put it right back in there. Thank oh, you. <laughs> Spin yarns about a spectral locomotive that would rocket past the farm where she The guy in the background. <laughs> in the Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Kind of a dream job for me. Ghost hunter? I would do it. If only I had a team of people equally as interested, I would be one of these weirdos for sure. I consume that kind of content like no one's business. <laughs> Dance tonight away with some of the lovely ladies who witnessed the disturbance. This is. <laughs> Where are all of the ghosts coming from? Is it just the mist that doesn't have arms and legs? <laughs> They're gonna classify them now. Uh. Was that real? Whoa. Okay. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. And I'm coming back to haunt ya. So there are four Ghostbusters, right? I was confused because there was only the three of them, but now it looks like there's gonna be a fourth. Huh? Uh, sure. Sigourney Weaver is just... Mmm. So good. <laughs> Gozer was very big in Samaria. Well, what's he doing in my icebox? <laughs> no. I'm making a special exception in your case, because... <laughs> the stiff is jealous. Friend. A friend. An old friend. Bye, well, I'll see you Thursday! <laughs> Feeling much better. You're still very pale, though. Little son! <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny! There was a lot of people in that scene wearing red, and I'm so glad that he spun like the guy in the red jumpsuit. <laughs> you gonna answer that? Quit better jobs than this. <laughs> I've quit better jobs than this. Into a storage facility. And with this storage... <laughs> Her head in the background. No. And why not, Mr. Vankman? You need a warrant. Because you did not use the magic word. Please. What is the magic word, Mr. Beckman? 
Cheez-Its. Please. I was right the first time. You can have it your way, Mr. Beckman. I'm worried, right? So he's been to Burger King, I see. Well, let's say this Twinkie represents the... New <gasps> Twinkie. Weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> yeah. Tell him about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? <laughs> Did you hear they got rid of the Twinkie? And then America erupts. This is looking very sacrificial. Yup. Very ritualistic. Evil, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, well, I would, Lewis, but I have a date coming. <gasps> Heartbreak, real time. I'm sorry, Lewis, I forgot. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you can bring him along. <laughs> He's so cute. Twister, we're gonna do some break dancing. Hey. Not again. He is a treasure. Right. Bye. Bye. Oh, is the fridge open? Her fridge is the portal? Shit. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Wait, is that the gargoyle? Okay, I am never sitting on a chair again. Oh, it is the gargoyle. Yeah, I can get 600 tablets of that for the same price as 300 of a name brand. Whew. Look at that flex. On the house at 8%. So they're okay. Wait, 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 why is it in his room now? Okay, who brought the dog? Oh. a terrible host. Hold up! <laughs> a bear in his apartment. <laughs> For the next tenants meeting, there's not supposed to be any pets in the building. <laughs> Why is it going after him, though? There's gotta be a way in here. I gotta get... <laughs> Wait, does anyone else see it? Hello. <gasps> That's a different look for you, isn't it? She is giving Goblin King from the Labyrinth right now. David Bowie. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go back. I, I think I missed what he said. I was laughing at her looking like David Bowie. <laughs> Are you the key master? The key master? For what lock? Are you the key master? Yes. <laughs> I'm the gatekeeper. Oh. So she's possessed. Ooh. We must prepare for the coming of Gozer. But I thought nothing goes on in there. We know some creature. We never talk anymore. <laughs> I want you inside me. <laughs> wow. I can't. Sounds like you got at least two people in there already. <laughs> <gasps> that was awesome. Holy soul. What a lovely singing voice you must have. <laughs> Trouble in this apartment, I think. One. Oof. At least it's not as bad as the demon voice from The Exorcist. That still haunts me. Oh, how did they make her spin like that? He's like, where are the wires? Oh, he's possessed too. You will perish in flame. You are not the What an asshole. <laughs> you know, you are a real humanitarian. I don't think he's human. 
coffee, Mr. Tully? Do I? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. <laughs> Whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine. She's going to take a little nap now. <laughs> She's the gatekeeper. Does that make any sense to you? And we have the key master. I just met the key master. Uh huh. Oh, wonderful. We have to get these two together. His dream is about to come true. We have to find Ray. I need him here immediately. <laughs> In the Scottsville. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Oh, so the end times is here. How about a little music? Yeah. Yes, please. More of this soundtrack. Excuse me. Excuse me, just... Oh, this is the EPA guy? Try to understand. This is a high-voltage laser... <laughs> <laughs> the key master. <laughs> no, we won't be. Shut it off. Don't shut it off. He's gonna release all the ghosts, isn't he? <laughs> We're going out of business. Captain, these men are a criminal violation of the Environmental Protection Act. Yeah, no, dude, this is all you. Are those all of all of those like lights? Are those all ghosts? <gasps> oh, I just I just noticed the World Trade Center. Jeez, that scared me. Columbia Building, 57th Street. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Ew. Oh my gosh, that's like some creep show level stuff. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna get so good <laughs> with all the ghosts coming out now. Did she just get unlucky with the apartment that she got? And just tell me what the hell is going on. You never studied. Exactly. <laughs> she's not my girlfriend. Yet. I find her interesting because she's a client and because she sleeps above her covers. Four. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with that? And then I understood what he meant by that. That was funny. Society. Let me guess. Goes or worship. Bingo. They conducted rituals up on the roof. Bizarre rituals intended to bring about the end of the world. Okay, that explains the setup there. I got a split. The mayor wants to rap with me about some things. <laughs> I think he's the best character. I think his name is Bill Murray, right? I love his one-liners. <laughs> nice view. I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Oh, uh, let's not make some magic, please. Nope, we're good. Nope. No, thank you. Did not? No. <laughs> Is this heaven? Is this hell? Everything was fine with our system until the power grid was shut off by Dickless here. <laughs> Dickless. <laughs> Yes, it's true. This man has no doubt. <laughs> I say Dickless over here is the first one to get sacrificed. Since I joined these men, I have seen shit that'll turn you white. <laughs> Sacrifice dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough. <laughs> Save the lives of millions. Registered voters. Constituents. Ready to put you right back in office. Fix you. I'm gonna get you a nice fruit basket. I'm gonna miss him. Bye, Dickless. Oh, I love that sound, whatever that instrument is. It's like the do 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 do. I think it's a type of drum. Yeah, there it is. Do 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 do. Repent for the end is at hand. <laughs> oh, I'm so downloading this entire soundtrack. There should be a Ghostbusters musical. Does it exist? I'm sure you guys know, and I'm sure you'll let me know. If there's not, there should be. Um. 
is the whole building gonna lift off? Okay, earthquake. Check. Oh, that, that's kind of cool how they did that. They have some great effects in this movie. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of stairs. Where are we? This is why I never want to live above the fifth floor. But when we get to 20, tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> his face. <laughs> Thank God there's like no rush at all. It's not like it's the end times or anything. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, no, really. Age before beauty, please. Okay. So, she's a dog. <laughs> that who oh, okay well, whatever it is it's got to get by us right yeah it, <laughs> what <laughs> go to the gozarian <gasps> Ooh. okay now that looks like david bowie or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension that ought to do it. Thanks very much. <laughs> Are you a god? <laughs> okay, Emperor Palpatine over here. When someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! And Keymaster. This chick is toast! <laughs> Okay, best line in the whole movie. This chick is toast. So many good one-liners in this movie. It's not fair. Let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. <laughs> Grab your stick, make it hard. Prehistoric bitch. Like, amazing writing. We better go full stream. Full stream, mm-hmm. Yep. This would be a bad time to fall off the building. Ooh. Choose and perish. What do you mean choose? Choose. Did you choose anything? Did no. Did you? The line is totally blank. I did <laughs> Who was it? Oh no. <laughs> what the heck? It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> okay, that's the cutest ghost I've ever seen. This is elaborate advertising. <laughs> Something that could never ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puft. Oh, he did that. Segment. I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, mother pus bucket. Ew. Nobody steps on a church in my time. <laughs> <laughs> Roast him. <laughs> you want some more? Get it? Get it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's a sailor. He's in New York. We get this guy laid, we won't have any trouble. We get this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Our client, the nice lady who paid us in advance before she became a dog. <laughs> oh no, they're crossing streams. <laughs> now I really want a s'more. Marshmallow fluff, even better. E yeah. 
It's not the worst thing. <laughs> Bill Murray got the better end of the deal here. <laughs> Bankman. Oh, Bankman, I'm sorry. Wait, what happened to Sigourney Weaver and Rick Moranis? I just forgot. Are they dead? No, they can't die. Yeah! Oh, thank God. Okay. I would love to know how they got her in that. <laughs> I would imagine you want to do this in one take. Somebody turn on the lights! <laughs> Go check on that little guy. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Superintendent's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Who does your taxes? <laughs> Felt great. We'd like to get a sample of your brain tissue. Okay. <laughs> Felt great. Okay. I love this <laughs> Have fun getting that marshmallow out of your hair. What a good feel good, funny, funny, funny movie. Hilarious. I loved all of the jokes and the innuendos. I'm glad I watched it at this age. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Dan Aykroyd. Okay, I do recognize that name. Sigourney Weaver. What an what a, an amazing cast they got. I don't recognize that guy's name. Obviously. Rick Moranis. I ain't afraid of no guns. Ghostbusters. The credits are just as entertaining. <laughs> so there's a potential for a sequel. I think the best way to describe this movie is pure fun. But they had such an outstanding cast. I already knew who Bill Murray was and obviously Sigourney Weaver and Rick Moranis. I am a massive fan of Sigourney and Rick. I've seen Alien, which definitely one of my favorite sci-fi horror movies. It's been a long time since I've seen definitely the first one. I think there's multiple, right? I don't think I've seen the other Alien movies, if they do exist, but I would love to rewatch Alien and relive the awful, traumatic childhood memories that I have from watching that movie and oh my when i say the alien popping out of people's chests scarred me for life yeah so with rick moranis alone we have little shop of horrors and now we have ghostbusters a lot of weird things happening in new york or new york like cities i know i've already seen little shop but i love that movie so much it is ingrained in my DNA. That is absolutely a movie that I would watch again here on the channel and include it in my rewatch series. But this was such a fantastic movie. I'm so glad that I finally watched it. I always knew it was a classic, but like so many other movies, I think I was meant to watch it later on in life because if I would have watched this as a kid, a lot of the jokes would have gone right over my head. And I'm glad I was able to sit down and actually give this movie the attention it deserved so that I could pick up on all of the hilarious jokes. The special effects in this were really, really good. The writing, the one-liners were fabulous. But on top of all of that, the soundtrack for this movie really stood out to me. You have the main theme, which is iconic, but all of the other songs that they included were equally as good. I think the first thing I'm gonna do after ending this video is download this entire soundtrack. I know this movie was a more silly take on ghosts and ghost hunting and paranormal activity, but I'm gonna be honest, I genuinely find ghosts and paranormal stuff in real life so fascinating. If I already did not have two YouTube channels, I would definitely be one of those people to start a ghost hunting YouTube channel as well. I love watching that kind of stuff. Whether or not you think it's real, you know, 
I've never had an experience, but kind of always wanted one. Call me crazy, but I would definitely be one of those whack jobs going to these extremely haunted, old, creepy houses and asylums and hospitals and I'd stay there overnight. I'd probably need to pack several pairs of pants, but it would be so worth it. That's just me though. I love ghosts. I find them fascinating. I'm sure if I ever did have a paranormal experience, I would regret ever saying that I wish I had one. Actually, whenever I do say that to people who have had paranormal experiences, they look at me like I'm crazy. But I'm personally fascinated with the unknown, the unexplained. But now I want to look up and see if there are more Ghostbusters movies. Do 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 do. Okay, so we have Ghostbusters, which we just watched. There is a Ghostbusters 2 from 1989. There's a Ghostbusters Afterlife, Frozen Empire, and then the reboot, which I think has Kristen Wiig in it, one of my favorite people of all time. Yeah, the reboot came out in 2016 and it has Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie freaking Jones. And then I see Cecily Strong. So it's basically a SNL reunion from one of the golden eras of SNL. And I will die on that hill. I used to watch that era of SNL religiously every single week. And I would say most of my humor and personality comes from Kristen Wiig herself. I don't think I've heard anything about the second one at all. Generally, the original is always the best, but maybe the second one is worth a watch. Thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to Ghostbusters for the first time. I enjoyed every single second of this. This was so feel good. It was so funny. And there were a couple moments that jump scared me a little bit, but I did love the effects in this movie so much, especially the scene where the road started to crack and raise up and the cars were getting tilted. That was so cool to watch. Made me realize how much I do appreciate real effects in movies. I would love to know your guys' thoughts about this movie, whether or not you watched it when it came out. I always love scrolling through the comments on my videos and reading all of the fun facts that you guys give, whether it's related to how they filmed something or maybe something about the actors. Seriously, since starting my movie reaction channel, I feel like I am infinitely smarter. <laughs> some of the facts I get are like historical, some of them are just, you know, fun little details about how they shot movies, little references that they included in scenes that maybe I didn't even pick up on. Anyway, I could go on and gush about movies for days. I, I love having this channel so much. I love watching these movies. I feel like I'm really expanding my pop culture knowledge, my referential knowledge. I'm also leveling up my sense of humor. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell button as well to get notified for the next one. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you all next time.